learning to ride a man's bike sideways. Did I hear that grandfather of yours talking about tandem bicycles? asked Granny. I nodded. He told you how I insisted on riding in front. I nodded again. And did he say I pedaled all the way to Topo while he sat on the back with his feet dangling? I looked away and said nothing. Don't you worry, Jack. It's your grandfather's fault, not yours. I thought I'd won, sitting in front and steering while your grandfather sat behind. And all the time he was steering around the countryside with his feet off the pedals and a silly grin on his face. If it hadn't been for some kind people who told me, I'd have pedaled all the way back to Auckland as well. Granny went humph and humph again. But your grandfather didn't tell you how I invented Lake Topo. I shook my head. When I was little, I taught myself to ride my father's bicycle. If I sat on the seat, my feet didn't reach the pedals, so I had to stick one leg through the bar and ride sideways. That's how you learnt to ride a man's bicycle in those days. Ladies' bicycles had no bar, so you didn't have to swing your leg over, but my mother thought they were still too undignified, so she didn't have a bike. Anyway, I taught myself to ride my father's bike sideways and rode all the way to Topo. How old were you? Granny looked at me sharply. I can't remember. What I do remember is that there wasn't a lake at Topo, so I decided to invent one. How? I pinched your grandfather's false teeth and took them with me. But he was only a boy. People had their teeth out early in those days. It took a while, digging all that dirt and rock with his false teeth. But when I finished, I built the mountains, Tongarero, Narahoe and Ruapehu. That'll give you an idea how deep the lake is. It started to fill with water. When I got back on my father's bike and rode home to Auckland. With one leg through the bar. With one leg through the bar. And when I got home, I sneaked into your grandfather's house and popped his false teeth back into the glass of water where he put them each night. He never even noticed. When he got up, he couldn't chew his toast because his teeth were so blunt. He had some porridge instead. His mother told me afterwards. She asked him if something was wrong with the toast, but he just shook his head and looked a bit silly. Granny giggled. Tell him that next time he tries to spin you a story about riding tandem to Topo. Soon as Grandad got me alone, he wanted to know what Granny had been talking about. She told me she dug Lake Topo with your false teeth, I told him. She said she put them back in in the glass of water by your bed, and you didn't even notice how blunt they were till you couldn't chew your toast. Pretended I hadn't noticed, just to annoy your grandmother. When she told you about digging the hole for Lake Topo, I'll bet she didn't tell you about how she was in too much of a hurry, as usual. I looked at him. You know how slapdash your grandmother is sometimes? She invented Lake Topo, all right, but it never occurred to her to put in a river to drain it. The Prime Minister beseeched me to do something before it overflowed. And I biked down to Topo, whipped out my false teeth, sharpened them on a file, and just in time, dug the bed for the Waikato River. Granny didn't tell me about that. She's too embarrassed. If it hadn't been for me, inventing the Waikato River, the North Island would have sunk under the weight of all that water in Lake Topo. What about the South Island? Would have been sucked down with the North Island. Did Granny really stick her leg through under the bar so she could ride her father's bike? That's how you learnt to ride a bike in those days. Why didn't you learn on a lady's bike, if they had no bar? Catch me riding a girl's bike. All the other boys would have called me a sissy never be able to hold my head up again. Did you really have all your teeth out before you went to school? Has she been saying that again? It was your granny. She ate so many lollies and wouldn't clean her teeth, so she had all her teeth out before she started school.